Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel Salesforce FAQs and today in this video we are going to learn how to insert multiple files in Salesforce using the data loader tool. So in Salesforce we have option to insert files and documents manually but when you have to insert large number of files into an org then using the tools like data loader is more efficient. So this process is specifically useful when inserting of a large number of file into an org and this is usually used when migrating files from one org to another or adding a mass number of files to records. So in this video I will show you two methods that is manual and the one with the data loader tool. So first I will show you the manual method then then I will show you the method of uploading files via the data loader so that you will come to know how efficient it is to upload the files via the data loader tool. So let's move ahead and see the process. So as of now I logged into my Salesforce developer account. And from here I will navigate to an object to show you how you can manually upload the files. And to navigate on the object we will click on the app launcher. And here search and select the object. So I will add files to the account object. So here I will search and select accounts. So for example I am going to insert the files in the account University of Arizona. So I will click on it. And now on the record page of the account you have to scroll down. And here in the section notes and attachments you can click on the button upload files or you can directly upload the files here and from my system you have to navigate to the file location and you can see the file is uploaded and at last you have to click on the done button and so this is how you can upload the files manually in salesforce and now we are going to see the method of uploading multiple files in salesforce using the data loader tool so let's move ahead and see that process also so the first thing that we have to do for inserting files via the data loader is to create a csv file so on the screen you can see the field column that you must have in your csv file so in the title you have to enter the name of the file and in the description you have to enter the description of file or link and the version data is required is the complete path to the file you are uploading or the local machine or drive and the column version data is the required field and it is the complete path to the file that you are uploading from your local machine or drive so it is basically a file location for in your system and the next field column path on client is required and it is also complete path of the file that you are uploading from your local machine or drive so you can consider it same as a version data and the first published location id so this is optional and so if you were only relating the file to a single record in salesforce so then only you have to populate this with the related record id so this is automatically create a content document link so for example you have to insert these multiple files in a in account object so in the first published location id you can enter the ids of the accounts in which you want to insert the files so it can be a single account record or the multiple so now i am going to populate all the fields of this csv file so as of now i have entered the title description version data and and path on client details of the files that i am going to insert in my salesforce org and the last and optional column first published location id so I'm going to insert these files in the account object records. So for that I need the ID of account record in which I'm going to insert these files. So for that I will navigate to the account object and and from here I will select the account record. And in the URL you can see this 16 digit code. So this is the ID of the account that you need to enter in the column published to ID. So after copying it from here you have to go back again to the CAC file. And in the first published location ID I will enter the ID of the account. And I'm going to keep it same for all the files because I'm going to insert the files in the same account record. And you can choose multiple object records or the multiple account records. So as of now our CAC file is completed. Now we will move ahead and insert this file into the Salesforce org and the data in this file will be inserted in the Salesforce org with the data loader. So first I will save it. And make sure that you have saved it to the location from where it can be accessible to the data loader. So as of now I opened the salesforce data loader tool and now we will begin the insert operation to insert the files into the object records and before restarting the insert operation we need to make some changes in the settings of the data loader for that click on the settings tab and here again select the settings and here you have to enter the batch size as one and in my case it is already entered as one so I will save the changes because in this example we are going to upload one record so we have to enter it as one because if you will not select the batch size then by default it is 200 and in case you have enabled the bulk api then the default batch size is 2000 here i will select the batch size as one and click on the ok button 
so in the first step we have to click on the insert button and after this we have to log in with our credentials so here i'm going to log in and now in the second step first we have to enable the checkbox show all salesforce object then in the object list select the option content version and after this we will browse the csv file that we have created right now so here is the csv file that we have created right now and after selecting the csv file click on the next button and now you can see the data loader will initialize the csv file and after this it will display the number of rows and the batch size so here click on the ok button to proceed ahead and here click next so now in the mapping window we have to map the field columns with the csv header columns for that we will click on button create or edit a map and in the mapping dialog window click on the button auto match field to the columns so as you can see the field names are auto match with the csv column headers and in case if any field name is not auto match with the header columns then you have to drag the salesforce object field down to the column mapping so here one field is remaining which i have and it is because i have entered the wrong spelling that is of the description so i will drag the description field to the column mapping and now the mapping is completed so we will click on the ok button and after this click on the next button and at last you have to select the location for the error and success files for which you can analyze the errors that occurred in the data insert operation and at last click on the finish button and as we click on the finish button it will give us a warning message that you have chosen to insert new records click yes to begin so here click yes to proceed so as you can see the data insertion is started and we have four successful inserts that means we have successfully inserted the files that we have entered in the csv file that we have created so you can click on the button view successes and in the status you can see the item the item is created so this means that we have successfully inserted the files and now i'm going to show you the same files in the account record in which i have inserted those files so from here i will navigate to the account object and the account record in which we have inserted the files is edge communications and from here i will scroll down to the section files so you can see in the sections note and attachments this is the csv file that we have inserted through the data loader so this is how you can insert multiple files in salesforce using the salesforce data loader tool so this was all about inserting multiple files in salesforce and through this process you can insert multiple files in your salesforce or using the salesforce data loader tool so i hope that you have understood whatever i have explained in the video so if you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that every time we upload a new video you will get a notification regarding that and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye